Hello and welcome to Inside EVs. Today we're taking our first look at the 2020 Zero SRS. This is Zero's top of the line all electric motorcycle and I'm going to tell you all about it. The Zero SRS is an all electric motorcycle from Zero, made in California. That's where the company is, of course. Really cool bike. Now, this is the first motorcycle we've done here on the Inside EVs US YouTube channel. We plan to cover a lot of electric bikes, snowmobiles, ATVs, etc. Zero has just entered into a very cool partnership with Polaris, and we're going to see a lot of cool vehicles come out of that partnership. I'm very excited. Now, if you love motorcycles, you should take a look at our sister site called rideapart.com and they cover all motorcycles, including electric ones. But for now, I'm going to take you on a tour of the Zero SRS. And the first thing we should talk about, it's the Inside EVs channel, is the electric bits on this bike. So, of course, you probably want to know battery capacity surprisingly quite large 14.4 kilowatt hour battery pack right here 12.6 of it is usable that's nice a little bit of buffer top and bottom so you don't wreck it you can set a charge limit of less than 100 percent for long-term storage let's say 30 or 40 percent really cool system now you want to know how quickly it can charge of course well with a J1772 port, that is the maximum port, you know, no CCS, no DC charging on this bike, uh, you can get uh, up to about six kilowatts into here, which will full charge it zero to 95% in about an hour. That last 5% takes a little bit longer. Of course, there's a taper up top, same with any electric vehicle. Now this Zero SRS is the premium, which means it charges at that one hour rate with six kilowatt charging. If you get the base one, you only get three kilowatt charging, and I believe it's 3.3, and that is not suitable for road trips. I would suggest getting this one, spending the extra money, it's about 12 or $1,500 difference, and that way you can get faster charging. Now your range that you get, unlike an electric vehicle that tends to get its best range you know, 40, 50 miles per hour. This loves stop and go traffic. And I guess it is similar to a full electric vehicle. This is just much more affected by aero as a percentage than a regular EV, uh, you know, full size sedan, let's just say like a Model 3. This really loves stop and go traffic. And Zero rates this bike at about 160 miles cruising around the city. We can verify those results just cruising around. Normally we've seen 150, 155 come up on the screen here. However, you guys know how we drive and ride. We didn't see those numbers for long. As soon as we got this thing out on track, it started predicting way less mileage, but that's where the impressive part came in. With an electric motor, this is crazy fast. 110 horsepower peak output. It doesn't seem to die off at high speeds like a lot of other electric bikes. This just pulls and pulls and pulls all the way to its top speed of 124 miles per hour. However, we allegedly have seen higher speeds than that on the track, fully suited up, of course. And the one of the downsides with an electric motorcycle, such as this design from Zero, is it's all ambient air cooled. This bike does overheat after about three or four laps around our track. And we've actually had a couple pro riders rip this thing quite hard. You can tell by the tire wear on the rear tire. And uh, it, they, they were super impressed with the performance, the traction control system, all of the different drive modes. They really loved the way this bike rode but the thermals did come into play and it did overheat. You would never encounter this on a normal street or canyon drive, however. Um, what else should we tell you about the bike? Well, it's a super comfortable bike to ride, fully adjustable suspension, rebound compression, all right here on the back shock as well. Uh, it's a direct drive, no gearing, single gear, so there's no clutch. It's very weird riding a bike without a clutch over here. Full anti-lock brakes and traction control, so if you just honk on these pedals, which I never suggest doing, but in an emergency, it will not let you do a wheelie or an endo, I should say. It just just ABSs you down to a stop. It's very, very cool. Uh, other than that, you do have room for a second passenger. We did not test that ability, but we just rode it around normally. The electric range has been more than fine for daily commuting, even small road trips. You just stop and have lunch at a restaurant, plug it into your J1772 port. By the time you're done eating, the bike's full. It really works very well. I would not hesitate at all to see one of these. 
Even the other day, we were cruising around downtown Boulder, Colorado, and we saw a dude riding a Zero. It was the coolest thing. He looks over at us, thumbs up both ways, and we just rip it. Nice little drag race. Just cool to run into someone riding a Zero out on the road. They are becoming more popular, and I totally see why. I hope you guys liked this quick introductory look. Nothing too technical. We'll have plenty more coming with this bike, drag races, road trips. But this is the introduction to the Zero SRS. Now, I should leave you with this final thought before we go, because a lot of you may not know the motorcycle lineup from Zero, uh, because of course we don't typically cover bikes, but that will soon change. This is the top of the line bike from Zero. They make an identical version mechanically to this called the SRF, and that is the naked version. And that means there's no fairings here. It looks really cool, super sporty. We'll have to get one to test because I believe it should have a little bit less range without the aero advantage here. Um, but that's the one I would go for because I think it looks the coolest. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next episode here at Inside EVs. And if you love bikes, take a look at rideapart.com. See you on the next one. <laughs>